Hey everyone, today I want to talk about something I see students do every year. Say I'm interested in the expected value of 1 over x. I take the expectation through the bracket like so. But the expected value of a constant is a constant. So in the numerator it's 1. The expected value of 1 over x. 1 over expected value of x is the expected value of x. So I can say that the expected value of 1 over x is equal to 1 over the expected value of x. Now that's the reasoning that many of you guys make. Now sadly this result in general is false. And we're going to show that this is not always the case uh, using a counter example. Let x be the outcome of a throw of a die. A. Compute the expectation of x. B. Now compute the expected value of 1 over x. C. Compute 1 over the expected value of x. And then compare the results from B and C. So A. We want the expected value of x. I've done this problem in another video so I'll solve this quite quickly. So here is the probability mass function, the outcomes and the associated probability. The expected value of x is the sum of the outcome multiplied by the probabilities. Like this and the answer is three and a half. Next we want the expected value of 1 over x. Now since x, the outcome of a die, is discrete, taking values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we can use the following result. The expected value of a function of x, denoted here by g of x, is equal to the sum of the outcomes of g of x multiplied by the associated probability. Now let's look at it in the case of this example so that it makes more sense. Okay, so back to the original probability mass function. Uh, x is 1 to 6 and the associated probabilities. Now, in this case our function is the reciprocal function because we're not interested in x, we're interested in 1 over x. So, we're outcome, we're interested in no longer x, it's 1 over x. Now, if we're 1 over x, we have to 1 over uh, all the outcomes. So, this would be 1 over 1, which is 1. 1 over 2, which is a half. 1 over 3, third, quarter, fifth, six. The probabilities do not remain, uh, do remain unchanged. And that's because the chance of seeing x is 1 is the same as say, seeing what 1 over x is 1. The chance of uh, seeing x is 2 is the same as saying the cha same chance of seeing x is 1 over 2, and so on. Okay, and now to compute the expected value of 1 over x, the outcome times the probability, this times this plus this times this plus this times this plus and so on till we get this plus this. Like so, where I've taken the common factor 1 over 6 outside the brackets. Uh, this comes to 0.4083 recur C we want 1 over expected value of x well in part A we found that the expected value of x is 3.5 so therefore 1 over expected value of x is simply 1 over 3.5 which is equal to 0.286. Bringing the results together, expected value of 1 over x is clearly not the same as 1 over expected value of x. And so we have proved that this doesn't hold and uh, we've done this by proof by counter, by providing a counter example. Now although in general we can't 
say the expected value of 1 over x is equal to 1 over the expected value of x, we can say for sure that if x is bigger than 0, this inequality holds. The expected value of 1 over x will be bigger than or equal to 1 over expected value of x. Now you might be asking me why have I got an equality there when I've shown there can't be an equality. Well there is an equality there if this x actually coincides with the expected value of x. Now that's a, a small point that we probably can skip for an intro course to statistics. Now finally to finish we'll also note that the expected value of a fraction of two random variables is not equal to the expectation of numerator and the expectation of denominator. So this is one drawback of using the expectation. It doesn't have uh, fantastic, fantastic qualities. Thanks for watching. I'm Phil from statisticsmentor.com.